Alright, hey guys, Raven here, and I just want to give you guys a little um, new series of some sort. Um, it's just like us telling you guys real ghost stories that actually happened. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this series, and if you don't want us to continue with this series and do something else, just tell us in the comment section and we'll do something else. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Bye. <laughs> here and I am back with something new actually um, this is us telling you guys ghost stories I'm here alone obviously now because Kagura is sleeping as <laughs> usual so yeah this is us telling you guys ghost stories where me and Kagura experienced it or me and my friends experienced it or Kagura experienced it yeah well, you get the idea so yeah so this happened like three days ago and uh, I'm still terrified to go out of my room at night. So yeah. So I was hungry in the middle of the night because I was editing videos and shit. And uh, um, I went to the kitchen to get some food. I was left over left over tofu, left over pizza in the damn fridge. So I heated it up and ate it like a freaking pig. So after I ate, finished the thing and went to put the vent. Yes, yeah, vent. After I went to put back the plates and shit. Uh, while I was watching the wa watch washing, I I'm trying to truck slowly, but it's just coming up very very fast. Okay, so while I was watching the plates and things, I heard three knocks on the damn wall, like not on the wall. I heard it like it was like it was like like yeah, that was something like that. So I thought it was a lizard because we have lizards around here. So I thought it was a lizard, so I let it slide. So after I um, after I washed, finished everything, and put it back in its place, I when I walked out of the kitchen and the balcony, okay, my house is like designed weirdly. So while I was walking out of the kitchen, the balcony is like next to the kitchen. So uh, yes, yeah. So out of the corner of my eye, I saw like a freaking bed sheet like thing. I guess like float across the freaking balcony, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, oh god. <laughs> then I like ran to my room. I literally ran to my room. You could hear me like <laughs> the floor the floor like freaking like I am the freaking hulk or something just like bursting through the fucking door and closing it. I locked it immediately. I locked the damn door immediately. So this gets funny at the end, so yeah. Um So I was in my room editing videos after I just like thought, ah, it's a bed shit, uh, it's a bed shit, it, it, nothing happened. So I just like, I uh, forgot it, I just like, kept editing videos, I was editing the I Am Bread video. <laughs> so, yeah, after, after I didn't finish everything, I was thirsty now. Uh, I, I, I knew it was a bed shit, but I was still freaking terrified to go outside because, one well, was just like a freaking ghost lighting outside the door, right? So, I was like, oh shit, what if, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So I opened the door. I I picked up my dog, which was sleeping. So I picked up my dog. I hold it in my hand. I went to the kitchen, and I put the dog on the table and I get a got a drink. And I shit you not, the, my dog started barking at the damn bathroom. I almost shit my pants. <laughs> The, my dog started barking at the damn bathroom door which was closed for thank Christ it was closed and I was like oh god oh, I couldn't move I was just like I, I was just like standing there looking at the bathroom door <laughs> and I, I don't know whether it was the wind or something then I just heard uh, the, the door like <laughs> like the door moving I thought it was the wind, so I was like, "Oh God!" Then I, was, so I grabbed the dog. Then I was like, I ran back into my room straight away. So, after everything happened, I, I was cool down. I, I calmed down. And I downloaded the Ghost app, the Ghost Hunter M2 app on my phone. That shit actually works. So yeah. So I I went to the bathroom and I asked a couple of questions. Nothing came through. Obviously, <laughs> obviously nothing came through. So I was like. 
well, if you want to play games there, I will play games too. So I was just like sitting outside my room for like 15 minutes, um, holding the damn phone like a damn idiot. <laughs> After a while, I just got bored and went back to my own. I, when I got to my room though, when I got to my door, the freaking thing beeped. Like, the, it sensed the presence there, like an entity or something. It beeped. And I was like, oh god, it's back. I was like, I, I was genuinely excited for that. I was genuinely, oh my god, I burped. I was genuinely excited. But my dog was, my dog didn't bark, so I thought it was just like, ah, miscommunication. Uh, you know. So, after I thought about it for a while, then it finally hit me. I live in Singapore, the land of the Pontiana, and Pontianas are said to be freaking white, with long hair, and after I realized that, I was terrified to sleep. I was freaking terrified to sleep. So I was just like, I, I was just like a vampire in the night, just like sitting in my bed like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Is the ghost gonna kill me? What am I gonna do? <laughs> this was the very, very first experience I experienced in my house. The rest was all outside. So, this was literally, literally scared the shit out of me. Because it's my own house, so I was like, oh god. There, so, <laughs> this is where it gets funny. I dressed up like the damn Undertaker from WWE I went outside and I, I just like stared at the damn bathroom door like like the Undertaker stares at his opponents I just like I stood there like a statue just like you want some bitch <laughs> uh, I am a I am a pussy when, I, when it comes to ghosts but I, I will investigate the damn area but if I hear something like just a little knock on the wall just like ran I'll ran so I was, I was dressed as the undertaker standing outside my bathroom door <laughs> and all of a sudden the damn bathroom door opened I was like oh god that turned out to be my, turned out to be my grandmother yeah go ahead and laugh it turned out to me my it turned out to be my grandmother who was in the bathroom taking a shit or something I was like really all this time I was scared for <laughs> oh god I was scared for nothing because of my, my grandmother. Ah, oh, God. Go ahead and laugh. Uh, but when I get Kagura into this, you'll see a true experience that happened to all of us. Uh, me, Kagura, and our friend. Um, yeah. We went to a buffet or something. Yeah, Kagura will tell you, Kagura will tell you that story tomorrow. Or I will get him to do it. It's actually pretty scary. We didn't see with our own eyes, but Kagura did. So I, I will drag Kagura into this and I will make him tell him his story. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and if you want us to continue with this series, um, tell us in the comment section if you don't want us to continue with this series um, and if you want us to do something else, you can leave that in the comment section too and we'll, um, we will do that instead of this if you really want it, if you really want to. So thanks for watching guys and bye. Yeah.